of affirmative action mm -hmm. initiatives? What about the future of, of voting rights? Mm -hmm. uh, what about the future of, of, of pay equity mm -hmm. and, and, and employment uh, opportunities? Mm -hmm. What about uh, uh, the imprisonment of African Americans mm -hmm. and, and uh, the, the astonishing rate of, of incarceration in this country? Say, you know, that's, that's a curious thing. As yeah. many folks that are being killed in the streets by guns. Exactly. Nobody, everybody's afraid to say anything about trying well, to. The, at least the gun culture and how it, it is contributing to a culture of violence mm -hmm. in our country and particularly in the black community. Mm -hmm. Uh, we haven't heard much about that no, at, not all. at all. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And of course, what we're doing uh, is getting ready for the second commercial break. And we'll mm -hmm. be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Mm -hmm. People back to work. about person. personal attacks, That's, you know. And, and, Oh my God, uh, hate. That's exactly. what it is. That's hate. Hate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nothing, hate. Nothing but hate. That's you know, all it is, exactly. man. I mean, you know, and so hopefully, I hope it doesn't discourage, and I'd like to deal with that in the mm -hmm. last segment. Okay. To what extent this might incur discourage turnout? Mm -hmm. I think it's going to promote turnout myself. You do? Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. I think that we're going to have the greatest black folks going to get out and vote. I think, in, and I think all of the people who have felt disenfranchised gonna get out, and gonna vote. get out and vote. Lord, I and is, that benefits the Democratic yeah, Party. Yeah, that will benefit the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I just don't see any place where folks are gonna stay at home. Okay. I mean, this thing has gotten too hot. Oh yeah, for folks. You got to say something one way or the other. You exactly. know, that's what I told my yeah. son. I said, nah. and my grandson. I said, y'all, you tell your folks, y'all got to get out and vote. I don't yeah. care who you vote for. But, but one other vote. thing we need to deal with, I think, is to the extent to which the third party, uh -huh. the Libertarian uh -huh. Party, with uh -huh. with Johnson. Yeah. The extent to which he's ciphering on something like that. That's books. right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But I, th I think I think Miss Clinton's going to win this thing. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, yeah I I'm, I'm sure. sure. That's what all of the uh, folks that I hear on television, MSNBC, CNN, uh, In Wall Street Journal, Journal uh, Huffington Post, uh -huh. they oh, all yeah. show a victory. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. And, and I'm just praying that. Thank you and welcome back to the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Dr. Lewis Baldwin and, he, and he's giving us some information in reference to African Americans and the election of 2016. And of course, Dr. Baldwin, let's uh, do it, take during this last uh, segment, let's take the opportunity to deal with some, some issues that you believe to be important mm -hmm. in this election so that we can sort of end this particular segment, yeah. given some directions in terms of what people well, can yeah. do and what we ought, to, ought do. to do. I think that this election is important, first of all, because we need to assure the preservation of the Obama legacy. Mm -hmm. Obama has been very intentional about addressing health care issues, about addressing uh, employment issues in the black community, uh, criminal justice, justice. issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm the issues that pertain to law enforcement mm -hmm. and its relationship to the black community. Mm -hmm. So we need to preserve his legacy in mm -hmm. terms of, 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 of pushing legislation that address mm -hmm. the concerns for African Americans and women. We have to keep in mind mm -hmm. that the Lily Ledbetter Law or Act mm -hmm. was signed by, Doc, the, uh, by President, President Obama, Obama. Uh -huh. uh, which uh, called for equal pay equity for women. Mm -hmm. So we first of all got to preserve his legacy mm -hmm. uh, for the black community. And I think that's very important for the black community. Mm -hmm. Another concern, of course, is, is, is how will uh, this election cycle, and particularly the person who wins mm -hmm. the office of president, mm -hmm. how will that person address issues such as affirmative action, mm -hmm. such as uh, gun control, mm -hmm. Uh, criminal justice, crime in black communities. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is very, very important. We look to the future, black Americans mm -hmm. do. We've always looked to the future mm -hmm. 
because we have had problems dealing with the past yeah, in now, many cases, right, and dealing with the present. present. <laughs> we look to yeah, a future uh, with things hope. Things have to get better. Yeah, yeah things yeah, have to get uh, better. Uh, so we have a more hopeful view when mm -hmm. it comes to the future. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, black Americans today are looking for someone mm -hmm. who will build on the Obama legacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think most black Americans, studies show that 87% of blacks mm -hmm. at least will vote mm -hmm. for the Democratic candidate. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that most black Americans feel that the Democratic candidate, who happens to be Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. uh, represents a, a, a better uh, you know, a better, better prospects, choice. a yeah, better, better choice, choice. Yes, that, for the uh, future in uh, terms of how our own platform mm -hmm. in the black community will be advanced. Mm -hmm. Not only in terms of the preservation of the Obama legacy, legacy but, but terms, building yeah, on that, that legacy, legacy. Mm -hmm. in terms of what? Creating more jobs. Mm -hmm. There's unemployment in certain black communities at 58 mm percent. -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how will the future president address those kinds of issues? Mm -hmm. How will the future president address the gun issue? Mm -hmm. uh, Hillary Clinton has talked about gun control. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump has talked about the Second Amendment mm -hmm. rights and how they extend those rights. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, we have to look at that mm -hmm. because that's very, very important because crime, particularly black on black crime, mm -hmm has reached epidemic proportions mm -hmm. in places like Chicago mm -hmm. and New Orleans and Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very concerned about the, the candidate who wins mm -hmm. and how that candidate will mm -hmm. promote our agenda mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as it relates not only to education mm -hmm. and jobs. And the Supreme Court. And, and the Supreme the Court, Court. Very yes, important. They're very important. Pay equity, mm -hmm. voting rights, affirmative action. Mm -hmm. I think these are the concerns that black people bring to the ballot mm -hmm. as they vote for our president mm -hmm. uh, on November 8th. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I think over the last five minutes, uh, Dr. Bowen, I think that uh, this is an opportunity mm -hmm. for uh, black folks and other folks who feel that they've been uh, discriminated against. Disenfranchised. This, this, right, this is an opportunity for them to move forward. Exactly. See, and, and, and the best way to move forward is to have a, a good agenda. Exactly. And I think that uh, the Democrats do at least have somewhat of a, uh, an agenda. I mean, it's, see, at least it might be on the web paid somewhere, exactly. but at least it's out there somewhere, yeah. and, and it's not a bunch of, uh, well, anyway, I mean, yeah, you, exactly. I think it characterizes itself exactly. uh, when, when you talk about the opposite of Yeah, that. we have to keep in mind now that since the mid-60s, mm -hmm. when uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. was uh, imprisoned at Reedville, mm -hmm. it was actually 1961, mm -hmm. 62, blacks have shifted more toward the Democratic mm -hmm. Party. Mm -hmm. And they've shifted more toward the Democratic Party because they perceive the Democratic Party as being more in line mm -hmm. with the kinds of concerns mm -hmm. that they have, mm -hmm. particularly as they relate to civil rights, yes, you know, affirmative action, yeah. the right to vote, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, I think most black Americans will, in this election cycle, mm -hmm. support the Democratic ticket mm -hmm. uh, to the tune of at least 87%. If mm -hmm. you look at President Obama in, 19, in, in, in 2008, he got 93% mm -hmm. of the black vote. Mm -hmm. In 2012, he got 95%. Mm -hmm. I don't think, think that the Democratic candidate would reach that. Uh -huh. But I think the Democratic candidate will at least uh, 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 receive 85 to 87% mm -hmm. of Senate, the black uh -huh. vote. Yeah, and, 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 and I think that that's a very, very important statistic mm -hmm. because it indicates that uh, we can be very, very optimistic. In term and I do believe, I know people have been somewhat pessimistic in reference to the participation of Africans in, in this particular election, but I somehow I feel a, you know, I, I feel a shutout coming up. Exactly. Now, you know, I, and, 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 and sometimes I wake up at night uh, in cold sweat, yeah. thinking that perhaps I might have to start looking for a, a, a Canadian route. Somewhere. Exactly, exactly. No, but seriously, I think that it, it, it is a real problem in terms of how we perceive ourselves and the threats. Yes, you but know, so that, much uh -huh. is happening in terms of, of, of trying to discourage mm -hmm. turnout. Mm -hmm. Uh, we see that on, I think, on both sides to mm -hmm. some extent, and particularly on the Republican side. Mm -hmm. uh, this whole idea that the the, the the election will be rigged. Rigged, yes. Uh -huh. And, and yes. I personally don't 
subscribe I, no, to that I don't thinking. Think, I don't think many people. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we have in in this un, in the United States mm -hmm. in this country one of the most sophisticated mm -hmm. systems of voting, mm -hmm. uh, electoral politics, and I think that there's a lot of integrity mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So I don't subscribe to the arguments of those who think that the election will, will be, be rigged. Mm -hmm. But I do think that people of all races, of all ethnic backgrounds, nationalities, religious backgrounds will go to the polls mm -hmm. and will vote their conscience. conscience. Uh -huh. So I expect uh, uh, um, a lot of integrity as it relates mm -hmm. to uh, so do the I, electoral yeah, process. Yeah, I, don't, I don't expect anybody's going to be trying to cast two votes. Exactly. Uh, I often say that uh, it's hard to get many of us to cast one vote. Exactly. <laughs> very seriously, you're going to get anybody to cast two votes. Two votes. Go down there yes, twice. Yes, I think, <laughs> it, say, that's it. So I think it would be uh, an election characterized yeah, yeah. by integrity. And yeah, I, I think yeah. that uh, yeah, and I, don't uh, think I think that, that this process in America, mm -hmm. in our country, has more integrity than in, in other and parts it, of the and world. That's it. And, and if, if, if we don't have it, then how could we expect it to be anywhere else? Exactly. Know, this, this is, and in spite of what everybody say, this is indeed the greatest country yeah, in the world. Absolutely. And, 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 and I feel it a privilege, personally, yeah. to be an American. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen anything that we've done yeah. or whatever that would put me outside of being a citizen of the United, the United States, States of America, in spite of all of the trials and tribulations exactly. that we've had in this country, I, you know, I think that yes. this is the best one for us. There's one thing we can claim, of course, is that our struggle has been toward the realization yes, of, that, of participatory that's democracy. democracy. That's right. And, and, and we've that's, been on that course. Yes, and, and, and I think we'll make it. I exactly. Think we'll, yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll be very exactly. Exactly. And, and, and so, Dr. Ball, we're doing the last uh, 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. Let me thank you for bringing by, again, uh, some excellent information, uh, some encouraging statements yeah. in terms of where we are and some of the possibilities. Oh, and, really? uh, while we stand on the very, very edge yeah. of this uh, third debate, yeah. I do believe that this will be decisive in terms of helping us move toward the polls. Yes, and, exactly. and I look forward to that, and I know that I've talked to everybody in reference to it. Uh, mm -hmm. And so a lot of folks are going to vote. Uh, yeah. I, I'm convinced of that. Nobody's that's the important thing. We have to have the turnout. That's the turnout, regardless and, and of And we have vote. to make sure that, that the realization of our vision for the future. Okay, and let me thank you, and let me encourage our audience